Hi everybody, this is Summer with Done Naturally. Welcome! Today we talk about how to wash pump parts. So, what do you do? Do you put them in the dishwasher? Do you put them in a sterilizing bag in the microwave or a sterilizing machine or a boiling pot of water or the sink? What do you do? Well, number one, what parts do you wash? You wash the parts that come in contact with milk and your body. That's it. That means you do not have to wash the tubes. Those only move air back and forth between the machine and the parts. So you do not need to wash those. If you notice some condensation, you can leave the tubes on and remove everything else and just run a pump cycle. After 15 or 20 minutes, most of that condensation should be gone. Some people will drop a couple drops of alcohol into the tubes and then run a cycle and that will get rid of the condensation. Or you can take the tubes off completely and whip them around and the condensation will scoot on out of there. So you wash everything else and you do need to take all of those parts apart while you're washing. The best time-honored, time-tested way to wash pump parts is hot, soapy water and air drying. Very simple, very easy, very accessible. That's what we also tell moms in the NICU to do. That's what we encourage everyone to do. One of the reasons is we want to avoid high, high heat for our pump parts. Microwaves, sterilizing machines, dishwashers, those all bring the heat up to a very high level and that can make that plastic degrade and break down and possibly leach into the milk. So the integrity of the pump parts is not as good and we don't want that. We also want to talk about the difference between sterilization and sanitizing. Sanitizing is cleaning. That's what you want to do after every pump session. And cleaning is as simple as hot, soapy water and air drying. The first time you get your pump, you do need to sterilize. That's when you boil all those pump parts for the first time. After that, you do not need to do that. The other point we need to talk about are those pieces that look like a very thin piece of silicone. We call them membranes. Some people, are, they're called duck bills with different parts. Um, different pumps have a different piece of that, but that is what creates some of the suction and they're very, very fragile. So we wanna wash those with our hands, soft hands and hot soap, that's it. No bottle brush against that because that thin silicone being fragile can tear, get a hole, get too thin. We don't want that. Then it's not going to pump as strongly. So be careful with those little pieces. The other thing, another tip for exclusively pumping moms, for um, working moms, is when you're pumping at work or if you're pumping all the time, then what you do is take apart your pump parts, put them in a Ziploc, don't wash them, pop them in the fridge. Then next time it's time to pump, grab them out of there, unzip the Ziploc, put everything back together and pump, and then replace them back into the Ziploc, pop them back into the fridge, and repeat. Doing that will save a mom a whole lot of time. And then at the end of her workday, she can come home, wash them with hot soapy water and air dry. So that's huge, huge, huge time saver for a lot of you. But hopefully that will help you understand what pump parts to wash, how to do it, how to maintain the integrity of all of the pump parts, and make sure you get the most amount of milk for all of your effort. So hope you guys have a good day. Give me a thumbs up if you like, subscribe, and I will see you guys another time. Bye.